Well, I don't think we should go to the moon. I think we maybe should send some politicians up there. Uh, time. <laughs> Are you prepared to release your medical records so voters <laughs> out there know what your health is? Oh, obviously, because it, it's about one page, if even that long. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I'm willing to... T- <laughs> I'm willing to challenge any of these gentlemen up here to a 25-mile bike ride any time of the day in the heat of Texas. I don't think they see a jihadist under the bed every night. Imagine you're in the Oval Office. You speak to Raul Castro. What would you say to him? (laughs) Well, I'd ask him what he called about, (laughs) you know. (laughs) <laughs> Dr. Funny Bones, Ron Paul, the king of the one-liner. The Texas congressman brought some <clears throat> clarity and levity to last night's debate. We know that Dr. Ron Paul is in Maine campaigning for hard-won votes at Colby College. Uh, what is next for him in this race, Hugo? I'm hoping a bike race. I think that's a really good <laughs> idea. And I think that it would be better than another debate. We really see what these guys have. I think Newt Gingrich on a bike, just yeah. putting it out there. Yeah, yeah. It would be <laughs> some kind of funky bike. He might want to challenge Newt to a sprint. <laughs> Couldn't hurt. Challenge him to a sprint. He's going to be in this race for the long haul, though, isn't he? I say God bless Ron Paul. The the longer he can use his uh, momentum and uh, spotlight to get his ideas out there, I say all the better. As long as the liberal media stops, uh, you know, making fun of him so much. By the way, he's the most principled candidate in the race in either party. Yeah, and I say to the GOP, ignore this man and and laugh at this man at your peril. He has enormous amounts of power. He could be a king killer. A king killer. killer. Deliverer of one-liners, Patricia Murphy, (laughs) coming up.